Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary, where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Come on. Can I move now? There we go. Hi! I'm the rpg -er, and we are back with Planet Zoo! We are flying this way! Let's Red go! Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's Ooh. in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're Fancy ready, that. let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Okay. We just wanted to look at these guys just to look at them, huh? Where are you? There you are. Hello. So do you just want me to click on you? No, but you're pretty. You look like you're gonna try to start up. The, the Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in, and they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, nope. why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. <laughs> Aren't they just incredible? When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. But the orangutan is beautiful. <laughs> I kind of looked <coughs> a little judgmental there at the ramp. Ugh. Plebs use the ramp. Oh dear! It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Good, now open the animals tab. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an <laughs> ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Go into the zoo section, and then into the staff management area. You, know you can find saying. all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet! Now, click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Already ahead of you. Great. Now let's deal with our escapee before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alert to jump to the escaped bonobo. And then, click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, that's the Look, relief. <laughs> if this was Jurassic so World, people would already be dead. Friend, let's down. go fix up their habitat so they can't escape oh. again. Head back over there. Where was I? There you are. Ooh, a cave. As 
As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Meh. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Give me a second. I know what I'm doing, except I don't. Do they mean delete on the keyboard? Yes, they do. Good. Shut now up. that we've done that, that, we need to make sure to add climb proof barriers to the top. That way, the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Oh, we don't want Select that, Select the do habitat we? barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. And then open the animals tab. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. <laughs> Go into the zoo section, and then into the staff management area again. Hire a mechanic, and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. There you go. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. As you can see, you don't have to go back into staff management Bronze. if you're hiring lots of the same type of staff member. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. All right, put him on the phone. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly, and more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Um. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, Ooh. enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> and once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Right. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell, so we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Yep. Right. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vets something to do in there. Oh, Jeez. by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do Teeny research time. when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo, and also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, hmm. drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. There you are. Couldn't find it. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. That's your fault. Let's head over there and add some, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. 
Oh, I'm floating away. Remember me as I was. Ooh, I can see my house from here. There it is. Oh man, I think Steven Universe falls faster. Oh, no, there we go. That's okay. Whew. Dusty. Alright, what am I doing? Where am I going? Who are you people? Right, looking for the ringtail lemurs, correct? Where were the ringtails? They were in the. Yeah. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. No, I could have just grabbed it from there. Um, can I... That's great. How do I... Yes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no, okay. That's better. Um. Alright, is that good? Is that stupid? Y'all wouldn't lie to me, would you? It's a little crooked. And floating into nothing. Yeah. I don't, don't think it has to be perfect. But it could be a little less stupid. Shut up. Get out of my way. There we go. Nope. There. Now as long as no one looks behind it, it's perfect. Can I duplicate that? Thought that was it. And from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. There we go. I hate it. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. That's just the kind of zoo I run. Turn on... Turn on a line to surface to make placing the boards easier. Oh yeah, where am I putting this other one? Sure. Now Could've that they've that been before. put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. There. Okay, now that we've done the education this board, is for the let's pop who down really a pair of speakers. Want to be educated. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals. Perfect. Instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. I don't think they want it in the tree. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs, just like you did with the education boards. Okay, I'm back. Had deal with a nuisance. Some more. Excuse me, sir. Didn't mean to grab at you. Just trying to do my job here. Ah, excuse me, people. Flying drone I'm coming through. I Fantastic. I'm convinced this takes place oh, in that Sims that universe. Education boards and speakers both God, need you're power ugly. to work. They won't do much good without it. Ooh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Go on, collect your research rewards. 
just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal, even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. I suppose so. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Next, click on the Terrain tab. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. Yes, but as it happens, yes. I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. Uh -huh. Great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer what? food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? <laughs> you can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Hello. Lovely. Now select the okay. Animals tab. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop-down menu and select Grade 2 Food Quality. Grade 2 Food Quality. My mouth's already watering. Uh -huh. So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. You'll have to wait. I don't know where I am. Here we are. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, Found and them. find him in the animals list. Right here. Okay. Oh, give me that crap. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. I thought Excellent you were going to say full of. There. Never mind. You've definitely got potential, you know. Well, yeah. Ah, I'm fixing your zoos for you. Some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? What? Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. 
Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier, then pop it into the gap. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open All up the right. exhibit trading section and adopt one. I like healer monsters. Okay. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. Yep. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish oh. it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. I will stare but at you until you do something. Now click on the layout tab. Oh, well it looks like we've only got the enrichment level 1 items unlocked at the moment. Never mind, let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock uh. more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now we'll also need crushing. to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Here you can see can the healer monster's monster, desired please. temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Didn't I set that to Fahrenheit? Oh well. Yeah, that's Fahrenheit. That's not. That's oddly stupid. I can figure it out. But. Hello? I feel like I might have overshot the temperature. No. There we go. That's the ticket? And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. There's also an Exhibit Education this Board. One. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. Because my guests are stupid. Like me. Crush that kid's foot. Y'all are the same. Oh, you're wearing a hat. That makes sense. Okay. Heal a monster. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right, now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. Yay. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Alright, so have at least 12 species in the zoo. We currently have 9. So I need to increase 3. All right, yay! I get to build my own stuff now. They have no idea the monster they've created. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right. I am not going to try to track wooden track here. I don't even know what I'm dealing with here. Dooby dooby dooby.
I am not going to try to make this super fancy. I'm still trying to speed through these episodes. We will definitely enjoy some more uh, in-depth stuff when we start building our own zoos. I feel like there's supposed to be a faster way to do this. But it's pretty fast as it is, I suppose. 30 foot. What do we got in there, King Kong? <laughs> Is there glass there, or am I just... Wooden track airlock. Yeah, I think I'm just being stupid. Okay. Where is the glass, is basically the... There we go. Alright, excuse me. I need to find the glass. Some conceivable way and how these animals can actually be viewed. Alright, I'm back. Um, oops. Go away. So, I could not flip the. Go away. Don't want you. No one wants you. You were never even loved. I could not for the life of me find the glass. So, I did the next best thing, which is make this really ugly ramp that this needs to now go away and die. Goodbye, thank you. Thank you. I cannot also figure out how to fill in those gaps if that's even possible. I figure it is because, I mean, you have thick path over here, that's all fine. But, I digress. Oh, cloudy. At least they, they will be able to look inside. That's the only, go away, only important thing that matters to me right now so what are we going to put in yay what are we going to put into our lovely exhibit we have bonobos yeah we don't have chimpanzees so chimpanzees it is get me go away Get that man, the chimpanzee. Can I not just... Okay. I think they're western chimpanzees. Yes. Oh no. We can only afford one. Well, not only afford. They only have one to... It. And I don't think. Okay. I'm 
Another. Come on, where's my DJ Khaled? I need another one. We'll set this one up. Hopefully we'll get more chimpanzees coming in. That will make them happy. Before they go completely mental. Um, I want to just go ahead and remove... these trees that are near the edge here. I don't need people just straight up jumping out. That isn't good for anybody. Can they jump from that one? I don't trust it. Those might be fine. That one. Yeah, okay. I don't trust this either. I don't trust trees that clip through. Okay. That should be better. Um. Can we make this a moat over here? Is that not steep enough? Nice little floodplain back there. Alright. Oh, welfare's bad. I don't like that. Okay. So you're good on everything except you don't have enough short grass. Don't, man. I wake up every day worried I don't have enough short grass. Okay. So all that's good. Shut up. All of that's good. You need hard shelter and a place to climb. Again, don't we all? Have to. Also, I suppose y'all might want food. Large animal climbing frame? I don't. I mean, by itself, I don't think that's necessarily enough. Wait. I hate it. that even more. Okay. Nothing's floating in the air. Good, good. Okay. I somehow don't think that was enough. Might actually worry about plants. Oh, actually you're perfectly fine with that? Okay. Never mind. I would have thought something from the jungle. They're from the jungle, aren't they? And they're... Oh, they don't have enough climbing space. Man, you guys really don't want for nothing, do you? And y'all have enough hard shelter? Oh, y'all are just perfect. I need arrangement, food, okay. Let's do this by chimpanzee! Okay. Forge box. Yeah, up there. <laughs> I don't like that sound. Um, there's that. A tree forager. Put that. Put it up there for him. Okay. Um, just get them the feeding platform. They have water. They don't need anything else. Uh, toys. What escaped? How? I, did I not? <sighs> okay. Let me edit this. I could have sworn. Oh, okay, for all of that, please. I could have sworn we 
made it escape proof. But if there's something that can go wrong, leave it to me. I'll find a way. You know what? It doesn't hurt. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's call him to come feed. They've got plenty of water down there. They need some toys. I think all of this is for food, isn't it? I'll give him a puzzle feeder. Why not? Toys. Here we are. Give it all my crab ball. Music. Sprinkler. <laughs> just a block of ice. Why? Why not? No. Right over there, so y'all can just be your own band. And. That's not enough toys for you. I don't know what it is. Hey there. You're cute. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you you go. You glitch out on you. Good on you, buddy. Okay. They're perfectly happy and nothing's wrong. Actually, yeah, social is fine. I was about to say, they had to have... They have to need more. Let's see... Okay, cool. Let's see. Good. We can get more. Um. How many do y'all want? Unfortunately, I can't move this can. Alright, we all tell me. Does that actually give a number over there? Because I can't read it if it does. We'll do six, just in case. Let's see, that should do enough. I can't afford anything else anyway. I don't have enough credits. This is such a drab enclosure. I was actually planning on making it look a little nicer, but oh well. This is how all of Bernie's uh, enclosures start. Eventually, there's glass, grass. Oh, good lord. It's just, eh, it's like they partially buried it, I guess. All right, come on, guys. Release my others. I wanna make sure there's one. Two, three, okay, cool. We now have enough socials. All right, well, it seems as though these guys are good. Animal has severe social space. Is that saying they don't have enough space or too much space? Because. I'll worry about it later. Alright, there's just a huge. Okay, y'all can actually crowd up. That's good. Dang, y'all are just coming in droves to see the chimpanzees. You're welcome. Best exhibit in the house, if you ask me. Alright. The last two, and then we're gonna wrap things up here, is to get these exhibit animals. Well, okay. Shoot, it's not my money. I'm worried about anyway.
pied. Mm. Mm. All right, there we go. That should get that area clean. Now, where was I? There's another exhibit. Here we are. We are gonna have something here. All right. They already have iguanas, beetle, and. We don't have any Goliath frogs. That's fine. Boom. Alright. Humidity's fine, temperature not so much. Let's decrease that just a hair. Alright. Happy little froggy. Look at him. He's adorable. He's looking into my soul. Do not walk through me, people. That's rude. Even though I don't know if I actually exist or if I'm just sort of a disembodied body. Okay. Where do we want to stick our last... I mean, there's two exhibits there, two exhibits here. So this sort of seems like a quote-unquote exhibit area. Maybe we can add another... Oh. What do y'all want from me? Let them do their jobs. I'm trying to do mine. I'm on a time constraint here, people. Where am I going to stick this last exhibit? <laughs> right here. Perfect. Are you jumping? That guy really likes his job. Alright, well. Either worry less about worrying, I suppose, and more about doing. So. Go ahead and add a education board to the. That's not the frog, I don't think. The frog was over here by the iguana. There we go. Okay. Now, last one we'll set up. Yeah, right here's good. Hmm. Perfect. They'd never, they'd never think to put it up there. Let's go pop it over by the chimpanzees. Why not? Where'd I put my chimpanzees? Ah, yes, the most ugliest building over here. Um. Okay, now, can I do that? But down! What are you obstructed by? Good lord, he can't play the piano. I have a dream that somewhere I can place this. They never said anyone had to actually look at it. First animal that we don't already have. It's not going to have power, is it? Yes, because when I think of interesting animals, my my, snails. you have been busy, haven't you? Splendid! But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. 
So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. Yeah, of course, no power. Um. Well, I'll snail you later. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, no, give me a second. All right, none of us judge the uh, semantics of that. Does it still not have power? It does have power. All right, temperature's good. Humidity needs to be more. Okay, cool. Happy snail is happy. All right, uh, last thing we got to do for this episode is decrease the welfare, which is good because this has already been going on for an hour. We're running a bit long, so we are going to tackle this as quickly and as efficiently as I possibly can, which is not very, so what are all these notifications? Is no one dying? Hmm. get this just no I just want that there now I can be reached ungrateful humans okay so welfare that's what we're after starting with least to best why are my chimpanzees the worst Am I the worst? Okay, what's up guys? All right, social seems to be the problem. I'm not entirely sure. This thing's space. Is it that they don't have enough company? Is it that they don't have enough space? If I get rid of this tree, does that do anything for your space? It decreased a little. If I get rid of this tree. No. Okay, well, there's only one thing I can think of. Buy more chimpanzees and see if it gets better or worse. If I just throw money at the problem, the problem will fix itself. I don't have money. I don't have credits. Okay, so what would be a plan B? There's habitat issues. Hard shelter, they don't have. Okay, so what do y'all like for shelter? Boom, I have a nice little house. Is that good? Okay. Um. Coverage. Oh yeah, now they don't have enough coverage. That was my B. <sighs> what kind of environment do y'all live in? Africa, tropical. Weird they don't have it just set by species. Yeah, Europe. Really classic. I don't see it. They might have it. Just stupid. Okay. I 
I will deal with all problems momentarily. I might actually have to cut this video up. Yeah, I think actually what I'm gonna do is we'll take we'll finish these guys off, then I'll have to cut this video up, and then from there we'll knock out the rest. Okay, so yeah, they don't have enough climbing. That makes sense. Gotta get my chimpanzees happy. I brought them into this enclosure. Ha 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 ha. That's lemur. Small animal, small, small. I mean, it shows that could all be used for these guys, so. Most of this is on the base assumption that this stuff is touching the ground. There. Y'all have just a little runway obstacle course all over your exhibit. Everything appears to be touching. That's good. Touching is good. That's what she said. Okay, so y'all happy? Social's good. Everything's good. You're happy. You're hungry. That's fine. That's what his job is. Okay. So, chimpanzee should be good now. Yep, moving on to bonobos. Alright, um, we're out of time for this episode. I'm going to call it quits here. We will be hopping back on to finish up. We're almost there. I'm going to finish up this episode. Uh, and then we will just start tackling the next one, I suppose. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope it wasn't too annoying. The, like the chimpanzees. Look at them. Frozen in time. The fools. Alright. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.